Casey Lucille Terry. How do you open this? What are you wearing me? is a promise of love. It is a commitment to life. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other human relationship can equal. This is a physical and a spiritual joining that is promised for a lifetime. All to myself I think of you. All to myself I think of you. Think of the things we used to do. Think of the things we used to do. Think of the things we used to say. Think of the things we used to say. Think of each happy bygone day. Think of each happy bygone day. Sometimes I sigh. All to myself I think of you. And sometimes I smile. Think of the things we used to do. Sometimes I sigh. Think of the things and sometimes we I used smile. But I keep each old and golden But I keep each old and golden while. All to myself. Sometimes I sigh, and sometimes I smile, but I keep each olden, golden while all to myself. It is Sunday, April 7th. We're still alive. We were almost not alive, so Casey decided to run over some <laughs> nails or some <laughs> You know, being a dad is the greatest thing I've ever done. Casey might not have ever realized it, but it is. But along the way, when we were having all this fun, I would occasionally notice that you were growing up way too fast. Moving out to go off to college, seeing you fall in love with TJ, starting your career now. It was just like yesterday that I was reading you bedtime stories and books by Dr. Seuss. I honestly didn't prepare anything. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Um, it's kind of overwhelming. Um. Oh, it's okay. You want me to talk? <laughs> All right, I'll talk. <laughs> so I have this very distinct memory. My mom's driving us somewhere. I have a Walkman and I'm listening to um, NSYNC's sophomore album, No Strings Attached. Uh, there's a song on that album called This I Promise You. I pictured my wedding. I know that sounds weird because I'm like, Eight. But I remember uh, envisioning my wedding for the first time listening to that song. On behalf of Casey and TJ, they welcome you to share in this very special moment in the beginning of their new lives together. Casey, you came into my life when I least expected. 
and you became my best friend without me even knowing it. And you were my greatest blessing, though I never asked for it. And all I can say is, well, who doesn't love pizza? These two were one of the lucky couples to fulfill the urban legend that their restaurant manager was a matchmaker. I was at a dead end job delivering pizzas. So I met TJ working at Brooklyn Pizza Company on 4th Island, Tucson, Arizona. But then this a beautiful young woman was hired there. When we first started working together, you were probably one of my favorite people to work with. You were flirty. You made me laugh more than anybody. And then when you finally asked me on a date, I thought, well, we'll just see how it goes. Pizza's ready, you guys can eat now. That's all you have to do. So the first person that comes in is close to doing it. Oh. It's destiny. It's love and destiny. What is the one I would say like me tonight be like the least happy you would be the rest of your life? Like, it kind of just, it kind of feels like that. It kind of just feels like you know, things can just get better, so. Between us talking and us doing dating and falling in love, I feel like it was pretty fast. Um, I definitely loved you when you said you loved me. I didn't feel like we were in the same places in our lives, and that really hurt me because I really liked you. I didn't want to see myself get hurt, so like I really, really tried to like end it, but. I, I let it slip that I loved you, and you said it back, and uh, we kind of made it work. Honestly, being only three years apart, a lot of times people would get us confused. I always took that as such a compliment because you're just so kind and beautiful and grounded and you've always had this purpose in your life. Um, now you're doing everything that you've always wanted to do and being this amazing light in people's lives. Um, and I just, I love that about you. Ooh, already starting, okay. <laughs> it's in 10th grade and I don't know why they do this, but they have like a conference where they gather all the 10th graders in the gymnasium. They make you sit in a circle of like 10 people and we talk about our feelings. Honestly, some people talk about like really heavy stuff, like really serious stuff. Like dominoes, everyone in the circle cried. So when it got to my turn, what all I said was, mid sob, I just miss my brother. My grandma said one month. You see, I tribute a lot of who I am to my brother. Everything from the music I listen to, to the movies I watch, to how I see the world, to how I think, how I deconstruct things. TJ. <laughs> Sorry. Casey and TJ absolutely love nature and being outdoors, whether it's camping or hiking. They have already developed a love of travel, taking them on road trips. They are adventurers and travelers together already. And when I asked them each, why is this the one? 
Casey said, he's the only person I feel completely myself with. While we were dating, we went on a two week road trip. And two weeks is a long time. So we stuck in a car with one person. We had we had fun, we traveled a lot and saw a bunch of places, but we don't manage to add each other when plans didn't work out or when we got lost. Especially when we got lost without any service, we didn't know where we were going. And we ended up stopping in a big empty field and spending the night. And that was probably, I think, the worst of it. Um, I almost... I think we almost broke up with each other that night. Um, but then in the morning, it was just a fresh start and we went to the painted mountains, painted hills. It was a really long trip, but we survived. That's kind of when I realized if we can get through that, then we can pretty much get through anything. TJ, when we returned home, I was asked if I got homesick during our travels at all. And I realized that I never did because you are my home. And TJ says with Casey, he feels at home. He says, she's my best friend. I knew I could marry you when my Papa Carlos and Grandma Zenny had their 50th wedding anniversary. You know, they just talked about how in their 50 years of marriage that the most important thing is family. You know, I, I was enamored at, at how, how easily it was to be a part of your family and how much my family loved you. someone I could set a family with, and that's kind of when I knew I wanted to marry you. That's my fiance. That's a microwave. That's a water closet. There's some fancy chocolates. Those are some birds. Birds. What our hotel looks like from the outdoors. Some wine. Tommy. Jay, that's me. Wow. Wow. Like, I have to eat it, right? Yeah, you have to eat it. I have to eat it. I don't like things like that. <laughs> Do now. And also I want to tell you this, is life is life. There's positives and negatives. We all have positive. It's what you do with negatives. And as a couple, be there for each other. It's not about talking about the negative. It's what you do with them and what you do to succeed. Love each other and support each other through everything, no matter what. The hardest part about winning planning. Everything, you, <laughs> you in general. Money, you know. Bringing everything together and finding a style because I never really had a definitive look in mind. So the colors changed and ideas changed. But honestly, before the wedding, I had no idea what the wedding was going to look like. There should be like a college course <laughs> about like all the facets that go into planning a wedding. Um... Leading up to the first look, I was just super anxious. Like, I was looking for fucking allergy medicine for Nikki Bellum for like 15 minutes when I should have been writing my vows and like I was in the shower practicing my rap while everyone else is like drinking beers and having fun and I'm just freaking out. Somewhere in the back of my mind I think I also realized that this day would eventually come and I'd be giving you away. And here we are, this beautiful day, and your mom and I are very proud of you and very happy for both of you. Happily, you chose well. DJ, we're very happy to have you as part of our family. It's a little smaller than your family. Just a little. We have a lot of people in this town, a lot of town folks. We can be loud, there's one. Especially 
I'd like to thank the Terrys for being here. Uh, a lot of you guys know we kind of run on a thing that's called Terry time. Um, and we're just perpetually late to everything. So maybe now that, you know, she's a different last name, uh, maybe she'll be on time for once. But yeah, I, I don't think so either. <laughs> I just had jaw surgery, so I hope my pronunciation is okay. Uh, shut up. <laughs> you know how they say that we only use 10% of our brains? Well, I think we only use 10% of our hearts. And yes, that is from Wedding Crashers, but what, the reason I bring it up is because TJ and Casey are a testament of people who use 110% of their heart, and I think that's really special. Let's give them a round of applause for that right now. Two very special people. Also, uh, thank you for not running out of our family that time that I backed into your car. <laughs> and... So when I saw Casey for the first time, I was like, this dude, this, it's exactly what his type is. Disney princess. I was like, wow, yeah. Part about the wedding. Probably seeing you for the first time because I had no idea and there was a, a lot of speculation <laughs> and a lot of like anticipation towards that. Is she there? I'm scared. <sighs> I don't like this. Does someone have to die right now? Come on. But yeah, after that, like it was just sort of a whirlwind of emotion and celebration. I know that you have put great effort and energy into creating this day and bringing everyone together. And your ceremony might seem to fly by. So I invite you now to just take a moment and think about the joy and the happiness you're feeling right here. And you can come back to this beautiful moment. And do all of our family and friends in this incredible wedding party standing here with them, do you all promise to support this couple in their marriage? If so, say, we do. <laughs> A little pause, but you came out with force. Lots of good support out there. When we drink, we get drunk. When we get drunk, we fall asleep. When we fall asleep, we commit no sin. When we commit no sin, we go to heaven. So let's get drunk and go to heaven!
and I, I pictured my wedding, and now this sounds weird because I'm like eight, <laughs> but I remember envisioning my wedding for the first time listening to that song, and maybe this is just your brain mixing stuff up, but this is exactly what I wanted. You know, everyone that I love and care for so deeply in one place. And witnessing, you know, take this big step and chapter of my life, and the love of my life. Again, I just want to thank everyone for coming and making it and taking the effort to be here and looking amazing and beautiful and wonderful and being such awesome souls. One thing has been clear to me, and that is that you do truly love Casey. And I know that she's in good hands and you'll take care of her. When Karen and I were going through the photo albums, so many great memories, so many great times, birthday parties, Halloween costumes, just all these great times, and it made me realize that this is what you two have ahead of you now. Through the wedding planning process, it was all about details and, and what colors and dresses at the actual wedding, none of that stuff really mattered. It didn't matter it was the slideshow that your sister made and the speeches and then some family and dancing table. That was, I think, what was the most important. I just couldn't wrap my head around how you could spend 13, 14 months planning one day and then that one day be worth all that effort. And I honestly couldn't have been more wrong. It was exactly what I wanted without me knowing I wanted it. It turned out perfectly and represented both of us. I think our wedding day was, I mean, to this day, it was the best day of my life. Simply because I got to pledge my life to you. Everyone and anyone that I've ever gave a damn about were there to witness it. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass, our clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. You are creating a spirit unique to yourselves, and this binds you closer than any spoken or written word. I'm going to recite a poem that our grandparents dedicated to each other since they were um, in high school. And until her last days, this is what they would say to each other. Sometimes I sigh and sometimes I smile, but I keep each old and golden while all to myself. So I was really happy that Casey was the person that was in his life because she was someone that brought such good energy and uh, lives to his life. And I could see him just becoming such a much better person than he already was. Honestly, I couldn't pick a better person for Casey than you, TJ. Um, you're just so, so kind and funny and you're just this amazing person that just immediately welcomed into our family just so well. You guys are just so good together and <laughs> stop. <laughs> Having only, you know, one older sister, I'm just so thankful that it was you and that you were this guiding light in my life. You are my guiding light and my sharpest compass. You are the only one, the only one that completes me, the only one that makes life full and joyous and real. From the start, you have made me feel heard, supported, and deserving of love. You encourage me in all of my endeavors and push me to be the person that I want to be. Your humor, your passion and loving heart constantly amaze me. 
and I am so ready to be your wife. For any endeavor you undertake, no matter how big or small, I will support you. When you achieve your dreams or fail and find new ones, I will honor you. When you don't have the strength to carry on, or maybe you're just morning sick with our future children, I will care for you. No matter what adventures life takes us on, or trials we face, I will cherish you. And whether we're laughing like children or fighting like an old married couple, I will always love you. Whenever fiber of my being, and with all the energy I am given, I will always love you, forever. And these rings that you're about to wear are a symbol of a never-ending circle of love and of life. Every time you see it on your hand, remember the vows and pledge and commitment that you make today. I give to you this ring as a symbol of my love. And Casey, do you take TJ to be your husband? Do you promise to love and honor him? throughout your life together. I do. Take off my pants? Yes. <laughs> Wait, is it fly up? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> but then, when I saw you, like, I was literally speechless. Three, four, five, turn around. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't, I don't even know what to say. The <laughs> practice? You turn this yeah. off. My jacket's all buttoned up. <laughs> yeah, you can dance in this. I love you. I love you. You look amazing. Thank you. Perfect. So What's happening? You ready? But today, I'm so, so happy that we can officially celebrate that he has a partner for life. He doesn't have to go through it alone. So Casey, I'm so happy that someone so beautiful, kind, environmentally conscious is my sister. And I can say that now. Casey, God bless you. Casey, God bless you. We love you. Casey, God bless Amen. With true love, it's a funny thing because true love is your soul's recognition of its counterpart in another. And I think it's a perfect example. And yes, that is from Wedding Crashers too, but it's a great wedding movie, so. To TJ and Casey, two of the best people I know, and, and, and I'm so happy for you guys, I love you guys. To Casey and TJ, to the bride and groom, in the words 
of the great Dr. Seuss. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Cheers. You have given yourselves to each other by solemn vows, the joining of hands, and exchange of rings. I am so very happy to pronounce you husband and wife. TJ, you may kiss your bride.